Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to talk about my personal journey in life so far. Um, the prequel to this video is actually this vlog that I did on the best piece of advice that I received in business school which is to take your biggest risk while you are young. And so if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend that. Um, but in this video I am kind of intimidated because I have a lot to cover and I'm not sure how to cover it all. but. I thought I should share um, a little bit about myself and my life and how I took that piece of advice and moved forward after graduation. So during my senior year of college, the first half I spent in Italy studying abroad and at that time I was already anxious about what I was going to do with my life after graduation so I brought some books with me that were kind of like self-help, how to find your purpose how to get out of your corporate job kind of life. So reading those books while traveling really shaped my perspective and my views on life. So my second semester of senior year, I came back to LA and I felt like I came back to the real world because I was back at school and all of this pressure just came bombarding at me because, you know, people were asking, what are you going to do after graduation? And I was like, Oh my god, I still don't know and everyone was getting jobs and so I thought that was what I should do. I started recruiting and interviewing with all of these companies when deep down I knew my heart was not in it to the point that I would not go to interviews because I'm like, I don't even, I'm not even gonna want to do this job if I get it. So I would cancel interviews that I got. I don't know, I was lost. I didn't know what I wanted to do but I knew it was not that lifestyle. Because I had previous internships throughout college, I had about seven internships and I did not like any of them and they were in fun areas too they were in like entertainment marketing advertising social media and I mean I just felt like my talents were never utilized and I was not where I was supposed to be you know I've always been a performer my whole life I love being in front of the camera and I there are a lot of things that I love to do and none of what I had experienced in internship and working life felt right so after graduation my big risk was to not take a stable corporate job like what I thought I should do or what all my peers were doing but instead just set out to discover what I really wanted to do, what I was meant to do and create this ideal lifestyle of what I've wa always wanted in my life. So the biggest struggle was to get over this definition of success that I had growing up with my peers and my family that your worth is defined by how prestigious your job is or how much money you make and instead create my own definition of success and what I want to do with my life and to me, I want to chase meaning and not money and I want to find a lifestyle where I can be creative and where I can be fulfilled at what I do where I am utilizing all of my talents and skills in the best way possible so that's what I started with and over the past two years, I've been clarifying my purpose and my goals and each day it gets clearer and clearer, which is awesome. So at the time, I knew that I wanted to keep doing music and I knew I wanted to be an on-screen personality of some sort because that relates to my big goals of being an artist and a personality where I am a speaker and I'm writing books and I don't know, all of that stuff, building an empire. So, but the problem was I didn't know where to start. So I put more energy into music and YouTube and I learned how to produce music and I took classes on music production and songwriting. And during that time, I also decided to volunteer for this small food festival called 626 Night Market um, because I had the opportunity to be a spokesperson and a host and to me that was a fun summer gig where I could practice speaking on camera and practice being a host so that was a fun job to me being able to interview chefs and taste food on camera and make fun food videos and so I was really happy that I got connected to that even though it was a small thing and I had no idea where it was going well, um, fast forward to two years later, I'm still with 6269 Market and we've grown so much as an event. And as a spokesperson, I've been able to speak and be interviewed on major media outlets like LA Times, NPR, NBC News, Fox News, and it's crazy because I would never would have had these opportunities if I took a normal job after graduation. And also I get to produce videos. Now I have my own little team of videographers and all we do is make fun videos with talented people and I just feel like 
I, I'm surrounded by people who are more talented than me and it's awesome. It's a great, fun, and super flexible job where I have a lot of time to pursue my own personal projects like my music and like this new blog and vlog, Lavender. And with my music journey, I wrote, produced, and released a mixtape and my first album, my first EP last year. And that was a huge personal project for me that I'm really proud of. Also, I got to perform a lot last year all over LA. Um, I performed at House of Blues. I even performed in New York. And that was a risk in itself because, um, I mean, I wanted to go to New York. I wanted to perform there. So I thought, why not reach out to all these venues and see if I could perform there? And that was a risk. And I felt like, honestly, I had nothing to lose by reaching out to these venues. So I did and two got back to me and so I went to New York and I played two shows and that was a really fun experience. In between I had so many failures. I auditioned for a lot of hosting gigs, a lot of acting gigs, a lot of which didn't go through and some almost went through. Like I got a job, went to the first meeting and then I, it just dropped and fizzled out and I was also part of this other startup that I had high hopes for but it, that fizzled out and that died too. So I guess it's all about taking risks and putting yourself out there in the best way that you can. Um, a lot of stuff is not going to work out, but the ones that do are going to reward you for taking those risks. And so I think it's always worth it to go out and reach for what you want to do because it's worth it. It's worth the risk. And you'd rather live your life doing what you want to do than living it always wondering what if you know so you never know until you try and so right now I am still trying and even though I am not even close to where I want to be in life I feel like I'm on the right path and I am so much closer today than I was two years ago and so it's just a journey in continuing to discover yourself and find what works for you and find where you're supposed to go and to create opportunities for yourself, you know? So to me, the big goal is to be an artist personality where I am creative, where I can create beautiful and meaningful things, whether it be through music, through video, film, or writing. I just want to create and share what I have and um, I mean, I want to write books in the future. I want to just create and share and hopefully it'll inspire some people and so that's a huge reason why I started Lavender because it feels very close to my purpose and it felt like I could jump start this journey a little bit more by creating this vlog because Lavender to me is a place where I can share what I learn with all of you guys and hopefully it could add value to your life. I'm trying to live my ideal life and create these opportunities for myself and I'm learning that everybody can do this. So Lavender as a person, me, I'm trying to live my ideal life but Lavender as a vlog and a blog is me sharing what I learned from my journey, from my failures and mistakes and sharing it with you guys so that hopefully you guys can be able to create your ideal life. So that is the huge ultimate goal of it all and I hope that makes sense to you guys. I hope it doesn't sound too crazy. I mean, there it is, you know? <laughs> I've shared it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, thoughts, please um, feel free to leave me a comment or if you want to email me, you can email me at lavender at gmail.com. But I hope what I shared today helped you guys a little bit. I feel like it's kind of messy and I really haven't got and I really didn't cover a lot of stuff. So I might do another video, but this is the overall picture right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, come back for a new video next Wednesday. I'll try to put in some videos in between because I have some other ideas that I want to do. But I mean, good luck to you all. Be brave. Do what you want to do. Love you guys. Bye. Peace.